Liam Neeson, who has a new movie out. It's called Cold Pursuit. And just 24 hours ago, he made headlines for talking about an incident that happened decades earlier involving a very close friend of his who he says was assaulted. And Liam, first of all, I, I really appreciate your, your willingness to, to have this discussion sure. because when it comes to race, it can be very uncomfortable sure. for people. Yeah. And it just caught people off guard yeah. what, how you responded when you were asked about revenge. And you want to explain what you said? Yeah, they, 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 we were doing a press junket and it was, uh, uh, you know, the topic of our film is, is, mm -hmm. is revenge. And it's a dark comedy too, but it's, it's, it's based as revenge. And the lady journalist was asking me, how do you tap into that? And I remembered an incident nearly 40 years ago where a very dear friend of mine was brutally raped. And I was out of the country, and when I came back, she told me about this. And she handled the situation herself and her rapist incredibly bravely, mm -hmm. I have to say that. But I had never felt this feeling before, which was a primal urge to lash out. I asked her, D did you know the person? It was a man. No. Uh, his race? She said he was a black man. I thought, OK. And after that, there were some nights I went out deliberately into black areas in this city looking to be set upon so that I could unleash physical violence. And I did it for, I'd say, maybe four or five times until I caught myself on. And it really shocked me, this primal urge I had. It shocked me and it hurt me. I did seek help. Uh, I went to a priest, I heard my confession, I, I was reared a Catholic. I had two very, very good friends that I talked to. And, and believe it or not, power walking. Power walking. Yeah, two hours every day. You to, to get rid of this. And I, I'm, I'm not racist. I, 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 this was nearly 40 years ago, but because I was brought up in, maybe I'm rabbiting on, Robin, so forgive mm -hmm. me. No. I was brought up in the north of Ireland and, and brought up in the Troubles the 60s, 70s, and early 80s. And can you explain to people what that is? The, 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 there was a, there were, the religion? Yeah, there, there was a war going on mm -hmm. in the north of Ireland. And um, I had acquaintances who, who were involved in the troubles. Uh, the bigotry, one Catholic would be killed. The next day, a Protestant would be killed. One Catholic pub would be bombed. A Protestant pub would be bombed. I grew up surrounded by that, but I was never part of it and because I, I, I. Excuse me. Sorry, go I, ahead, I, not I, go no, on. no, no. But I, I appreciate um, your willingness to discuss it and to explain, to put it in sure. into context. And I know that you have heard from people or the reaction from people. Sure. And one of them, one response, are, is the fact that when asking your friend, and I'm glad that she's okay. Mm -hmm. She, she passed away, by the way. Oh, I'm very sorry ago. for your loss. Yeah. That you asked about color, that you didn't ask the person was tall or yes. short, yes. big or small. That oh, you I, I did, actually. Race. I, I asked all those questions to you. I did. I did. But I did ask about race. Yeah. Because the, what, we, what we heard and saw, it was, it was only asking about yeah, color. I, you I, did ask about other aspects. I, would you have had the same reaction if your friend had said it was a white man? Would you want her to go oh, out definitely. and kill him? She just said an Irish or a Scot, or a Brit, mm -hmm. or a Lithuanian, I, would, I know I would have had the same effect. I was trying to show honor to my stand up for my dear friend in this, in this terrible medieval fashion. And I'm a fairly intelligent guy, and that's why it, it kind of shocked me when I came down to earth after having these horrible feelings. Luckily, no violence occurred, ever. Thanks, thanks be to God. Do you think you actually would have done if if a, if a yes. innocent black man yes. who had nothing to do? Yeah, I know. I, th that that was my feeling. That I did want to lash out. Yes, because my friend was brutally raped, and I thought I was defending her honor. 
And I admit that. And it's, it's, it's a learning curve and it's... Uh, so what is a teachable moment here? You said that you wanted, wanted to... Because you, it doesn't matter what you say. Some people are going to be outraged. Or others are going to say, yeah. well, at least he's admitting, he's being honest that this is a feeling that some people have that never really acknowledge it. Yeah, sure. But what is the teachable? What are you hoping that people will learn from you making these statements? To talk, to open up, to, to talk about these things, you know? We all pretend we're all kind of, you know, politically correct. Mm -hmm. I mean, in this country, it's the same in my own country too, you sometimes just scratch the surface and you discover this racism, racism and bigotry, and it's there. Um, I remember when we were shooting Schindler's List in Poland 25 years ago, 26 years ago almost, and hearing remarks from drivers who were taking us to the set, thinking to myself, am I hearing this right? This guy is making anti-Jewish comments to me who's playing Oscar Schindler in mm. the back of the car. And it happened on, on several times. And sometimes driving to the set, we'd see swastika signs painted on walls knowing we were been driven past this area to go to set. What do we do? How do we get, how do we, how do we have, it, it goes beyond dialogue Robin, you and tell conversation. Me, you, you tell me what the teachable moment is, please. I'm, I'm going to throw it back at you. I think the teachable moment is that we have to own up to when we, the, the, the one point that I want to make out is that <clears throat> this wasn't discovered by somebody. You admitted this. Yes. This isn't a gotcha. This isn't like, oh, yes. so I give you credit there but also having to acknowledge that the hurt, even though it happened decades ago, the, the hurt of, of an innocent black man knowing that he could have been killed yes, yes. for something he did not do yes. because of the color mm -hmm. of his skin. No. Or people, and they could have killed me too. <laughs> at the time, I, at the time. But, I, but to get beyond it being a, a, com, a difficult conversation and understanding that we do need to get to the root of it, to stop just, just yeah. talking about it and not, I know that you're getting crucified in many ways before saying what you did. Sure. And you're not shying away. You're admitting that it was wrong. You've learned from that. But you have to also understand the pain of a, of a black person of hearing course. what you, what of you said. Of course, absolutely. That. You're absolutely right, yeah. And at the time, even though it was nearly 40 years ago, I, I didn't think about that. Mm. All those things surprised me. But it was this primal yeah. hatred, I guess, that really, really shocked me when I eventually came down to earth yeah. and saw what I was doing, going out looking for a fight. Not the way, that's never, it's, it's, and that's what the basis of, the, of your movie too, that just, it goes on and on. And I wish, I wish we had time. Violence breeds violence. Bigotry it, breeds bigotry. There's no end when you do it there's like no. that. Liam Neeson, thank you. Okay. Thank you. I know it's not easy, I know. I wish we could, we could, we could settle See it all. See the movie, it's a good movie, by the way. <laughs> Haven't it, said it, all is, that. it is it is it is dark. I will say that. It is dark. But we will have a lot more of the movie tomorrow. But thank you for coming here as promised to have this discussion with us. It means a lot. Well, hey there GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.